All right, we're back. Uh, this time I know to speak up some more. This is our running backs to watch out for, not to draft and to draft and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'll lead off with our running backs to not draft. All right, running backs to stay away from, Arian Foster. Now, before you go ape, ape crazy and kill me, by no means do I think he will have a bad year. I just want you guys to fall victim to the hype train and take him at the number one pick or the number two pick or the number three pick. I think he could put up 1,210 TDs, but nowhere near what he did last year. And 1,210 TDs, which is a great, is a great season, but you can get that. You don't need to take that at number one, two, or three. You can get that from Darren McFadden or Maurice Jones-Drew at seven, eight. So I just don't think you need to take a chance on Arian Foster because he might not put it up, put up those numbers again. I wouldn't take a chance on him until like pick five. Another player that I, by all means, stay away from, D'Angelo Williams. He just got his big contract. Now expect him to underplay. That's usually how this thing goes. Jonathan Stewart should be the key back in the offense with Cam Newton. D'Angelo Williams hasn't been the most durable guy, but neither has Will, um, Stewart. But you never know. But I think D'Angelo Williams will get his carries, but just don't expect big numbers. I would put him. I would take him somewhere between early 40s, late 60s. Expect maybe 700 and six touchdowns with like 300 on the in the air just stay away from him if you unless you absolutely need to now all right um running back to stay away from cedric benson he's been in a whole bunch of legal trouble in the past i think he got arrested this year again average 3.5 yards a carry this year even though he had a thousand yards rushing i mean he might be he might have to get the uh, carries and stuff but he's he, they're they're gonna He's going to be in a tougher situation with the rookie quarterback, not knowing the offensive line formations and all that trouble that a rookie quarterback goes through. He might get more carries and such, but they're not. Nobody's not going to expect in Dodds to put up 300 yards passing any game, so they're obviously going to be looking for him to run. He's not going to be getting the, those yards per carry. Those he's going to probably lack in touchdowns, and he's just not. He's just someone that. He, you shouldn't you shouldn't pick up. Back to this guy. All right, uh, my running back that you want to draft is Steven Jackson. He's a sleeper. Now, how can a former All Pro be a sleeper? Sleeper by being one of the most underrated running backs in the game. The blend of size, speed, and power he has, as well as shiftiness and receiving ability, is just flat out amazing. He constantly tops a thousand yards. I believe it's six straight seasons or five straight seasons of over a thousand yards, and he adds in about four hundred yards to boot in the air. With the rise of Sam Bradford and the rise of this offense, I expect teams to realize that the Rams are actually a potent team, thus spreading them out instead of all putting eight in the box like they used to do. Spreading this out gives Steven Jackson more room to work. I would take Steven Jackson as high as number 10. I think you could expect a very good year by Steven Jackson this season. All right. Two running backs that you should definitely look for to maybe you should get. One is Daniel Thomas. The Dolphins just released Rico Williams and Ronnie Brown, and well, actually didn't release their contract. What, whatever, they, they're no longer in a team. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're no longer in a team. They're going to be look, even though they just traded for Reggie Bush, he's going to be more of a third down back. Look for um, Daniel Thomas to be getting the majority of the carries, maybe two hundred carries plus, maybe even three hundred. Maybe I wouldn't say a thousand yards. Maybe he could. Let's see what happens. But he should be somebody that should be picked up. You could pick up later in the later rounds. Another running back that you could look forward to getting, you should look to getting is James Starks. I mean, he did the postseason of last postseason was a, was just a small glimpse of what he could do. He, they just the Packers just relieved Brandon Jackson, Ron Grant. He's always injured. He's never healthy. And so he, sh he should be getting. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna be one running back that should be sticking around the league for a long time. And is that all? That's it. All right. So with that, we're done. Uh, expect our wide receiver video to be posted in like I don't know, ten minutes. So see you later. Oh, follow me on Twitter at Willie Law. W I L L W I L L Y Law. Follow me.